What's up guys, Monkey Bacon here from Sock Monkey Development, and today we're going to be moving our player across the screen. Yes, it's so exciting, we're getting started with our actual game. Um, as you can see, I cleared out uh, my main.lua because really we don't need that logo. Getting on our player's way. Um, I have today with me this basic little zombie picture that I stole from one of my failed experiments of Love 2D. Um, and he is in my images file. Nothing else changed except for I left my medium font there because that'll probably be useful. I just delete it and then undelete it. Whoa, okay, let's get started. Um, so we're gonna need to set, like, like I said, everything in games, I didn't say this. Anyways, everything, oh my God, everything in games is uh, based on variables, pretty much, pretty much. Everything is basically variables, variables and equations. Don't let that get to your head though, because you're about to see it in action. So we're gonna need to set a variable for the picture of the zombie like we did with the logo. So we're going to say that zombie equals love.graphics.newImage so we can load the image and then inside of parentheses, inside of a string, because it's a string, whoa, you guys learned this last tutorial. You guys getting good. Um, <laughs> images slash because it is inside of the images file zombie.png yes you have to include the extension um <laughs> i have kind of a cold so you know don't judge um so today what are we doing next sorry i'm uh okay we're going to be setting a variable because we're gonna let me show you one thing real quick this is basically the huge fundamental of moving a character so when we draw a character on the screen, we do love.graphics.draw, right? And then we say, okay, I want to draw a zombie at 300 pixels to the left and 300 pixels down. So now you don't have to run your game, but I'm going to just show you guys. And I'm going to stall until it loads. We loaded. Okay. So now he draws 300 pixels to the right, 300 pixels down, to the left, to the right. I don't even know how to say that right. Um... So, what we're going to be doing is to change these numbers, we need to set them, we're going to set them to a variable. So, we're going to say zombie x equals 300 and then zombie y equals 300. Because, like I said in the past, that this is, this window is a grid. The game window is a grid. And 300 pixels down, 300 pixels 300 pixels on the x-axis and 300 pixels on the y-axis. So we're going to change this 300 to zombie x. And we're going to change this 300 to zombie y. So now that means whenever we change this variable ever, it changes this variable. And guess what? That means it changes where the zombie is on the y-axis. Whoa! Yes! Player movement. So right now, you'll see we set variables for the x and y positions. I'm going to run it again. Again, like I always say, you don't have to run it. Um, as you can see, he's in the same spot and everything because all we did was change it to a variable, a number variable, if you remember that from the last tutorial. Yeah. Um, so that means if we change the value of zombie x, then he'll be drawn in a different place on the x-axis. If that doesn't make sense, then uh, I, it didn't make sense to me at first until I just, you know, just sat there and I just thought about it. But um, I hope that makes sense. I, I'll try to explain it better in a later tutorial. Um. So that means right now what we're going to be doing is saying zombie x. What we're going to be doing is getting is if the player is holding down right the right arrow, then zombie x is going to be going the value of zombie x is going to be going up. And that means he's going to be moving to the left since the x axis is the horizontal axis. Um so to check if a key is down we need to use an if then statement. Now, what this means, it's kind of obvious, but I'm going to explain it anyways. So, if something is happening, then do something. If the player is, or if the user is holding down the right arrow key, then move the player to the right. So, what we're going to be doing is if love.keyboard.is down. And like I said, that's, uh, that is testing. It's going to check every frame because this is love.updates putting the game into motion. It's going to check every frame if the key if the player 
if the user, sorry, if the user is holding down whatever key we put inside of here, we, and the key is a string. Yes, you knew that. Um, so we're going to type right, and there is a list of different keys on uh, the Love2D wiki that I'll probably put a link to in the description. But there, right, that means the right arrow key. If you put up, that means up arrow key, and there forth. So if love.keyboard is down, or love.keyboard.is down, right, then, and then inside of here, we're going to say what it does if this is happening. Um, of course, we have to end. We have to end this if so it doesn't read through here all the way forever. Um, I There's an organizational thing that you may have noticed me doing here that I probably should have explained before. As you'll see in config.lua, I tab these in. Now, white, uh, Love2D is white space insensitive. That means you can tab this in as many times as you want. You can enter it as many times as you want. But usually what people do is just tab it in once just to help it you know, look cleaner, look nicer. So I do that with my if statements too. So I'll put it in here instead of putting it way back here. But it really doesn't matter, whatever you're comfortable with. Anyways, back to more important stuff. We're going to be adding to the zombies x value, x position, every frame if this key is down. Um, so we're going to be, to do this, to add to a variable, what you need to do is type in the variable, so zombie x, which is the name of the variable, equals, and then you have to type in the name of the variable again, zombie x, plus however many you want to add. I'm going to add 50. Yeah. I don't know if that's a good one. Usually I don't. Um, we're going to be working with more advanced movement. I haven't moved them like this in a while. But this is the basic. You're learning how to basically do it in the most simplest way. And then we're going we're gonna to get more advanced with it. But okay. So it's going to go through here. It's going to be like, okay, we got a font. Don't use that, so don't give a shit. Um, there's a file, there's a picture called zombie, okay, I'll keep that in mind. There's a value called zombie x, there's a variable called, a variable called zombie y. Keep that in mind. Oh, so if this is happening, then I add to the variables. So, okay, I add 50 to those variables. Oh, I see where they're using it, they're drawing it. It won't say that, that was a really bad explanation. Anyways, but hopefully you understand it. Now, this is going to be amazing, you ready? We're going to, we're going to run our game. And, and watch, watch this, watch this, watch it, watch it. Hold down the right key. Oh yeah, you couldn't see it, but I was holding down the right key. And you zoom to the right, right? I'm holding down the right key right now. Oh yeah, that was just amazing. Um, you know, good job if that worked. If it didn't, leave a comment and I'll try to help you out. And my test for you is to see if you can make him move to the left. So if he's holding down the left key, what do you do? Do you subtract from the x value? Do you add? Do you divide? Do you multiply? Um, so next tutorial, I'm not sure what we're going to do. It might be animations, but that's pretty advanced. So yeah, hope this helped. This has been Monkey Bacon signing off. Like, subscribe, favorite, tell your friends.